everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Irene, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that I've purchased for my upcoming summer vacation. I have a trip planned for Malaysia and Singapore, and I did a little bit of shopping in preparation for that. If you're interested to see everything that I've been buying lately, then let's get straight into this video. Before I get started into sharing with you everything that I've purchased for my upcoming trip, I wanted to share with you guys that this portion of the video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community full of thousands of inspiring videos ranging from culinary skills to gardening skills to photography and illustrations. One of the classes I've taken recently and actually really enjoyed is called Romanticizing Your Life, A Beginner's Guide to Creating Vlogs for YouTube, hosted by content creator Carrie Cakes. I've been toying with the idea lately of starting to vlog for some of my YouTube videos and this class walks you through what content to shoot, candid versus staged content, and so much more. What I love about Skillshare is that it is ad-free and there are new premium classes being launched every single week, so there's always something new to discover. And if you're looking for something to do over the summer, it's a great way to spend your time learning new skills. If you're interested in Skillshare, I do have a link down in my description bar down below. The first 1,000 people to click on it will receive a one-month free trial for Skillshare, so make sure you take advantage of this awesome opportunity. Without further ado, let's get straight into everything that I've purchased just for my upcoming Singapore and Malaysia trip. I'm gonna start with clothing. Um, my clothing is from a variety of different places. I'll just tell you where I got them all as we go. The first thing I got are these linen shorts. Oops, backwards. They're very simple, basic linen shorts. What I love about these is that they're not too long. I'm not very tall, and so I find that when I have really, really long shorts, it makes me look really stubby and stout because I have kind of what you would call slightly muscular legs, like they're not super thin model-esque legs. So these ones are shorter and these are from Banana Republic and I got these on sale for like $25, I think. They're linen blend shorts, they're very comfortable and I just love this beige color that it's got going on. The next pair of shorts I got are these ones. These are the Levi, uh, what are they? These are the Levi ribcage shorts. I got these in a size 28. I got them a little bit larger than I normally do because I'm usually like a 26, 27 in my jeans. But I wanted the shorts to be a little bit looser so that it's not so skin tight in the summertime. I just want things flowy. I don't want things really, really tight up against my skin. It's just super uncomfortable. So I thought I would get these and they are slightly longer. They have these um, raw hems right here and the back, the back just looks like this. And these shorts are really comfortable and they're looser like I said before. So I think these will be really good just to throw on and not be super uncomfortable when I'm traveling. Another pair of shorts that I got, these were a find. They are from Costco, okay? They are slightly longer. If they were like half an inch, so you see the seam right here, right here that's running through. If it was that much shorter, it would be the perfect length for me. They are slightly longer, but I mean, it's fine. It's They're just shorts. So these are elasticated shorts and it's got pockets on the back and they are linen. They are not see-through whatsoever, and they are like $13 from Costco. I had to pick these up. They even have pockets, and it's got these really, this really cute detailing. You see that? There's really cute detailing right there, and it's got these drawstrings. It's got tassels on the end. I thought these were perfect to even throw over top of your swimsuit when you're going to the pool, um, anything like that. So very comfortable, very very well a priced pair of shorts if i must say so myself next up i have another pair of shorts these shorts oh my god i think these are my favorite jean shorts that i own right now these are the dynamite ella mom shorts they are the cutest most perfect fit of shorts so i got these in a size 26 and like i said they're from dynamite they are the ella mom shorts and they are cuffed and they are just the perfect wash the perfect sh like length they are shorter but they are not so short that they show your butt cheeks and i just love the way these fit on the body they fit so comfortably they are not tight against the thighs as you can see they do flare out at the thighs meaning that you have room in your thighs to move and walk and they're just so comfortable they're so cute they're the perfect length but not too long that it makes my legs look stubby once again so i am in love with these shorts and i'm definitely bringing them with me to our trip i have one more pair of like denim shorts type of item but this 
let me just grab it from my pile here. I finally found myself a pair of overall jean shorts. I've been looking for a pair of overall jean shorts for the past two years, I wanna say, and I finally found them. These are from Levi's, again. I got them from below the belt. I looked in the Levi's stores, they didn't have them from where I am, and so I went into below the belt and they had them there. They are cuffed at the bottom, and they are the perfect wash, and I think, I might bring these. I might wear this with a tube top underneath, like a white tube top or something, just to like reduce the heat retention. And I just think they are so, so cute. They have a pocket at the front. I got this one in a size extra small. The bottom just looks like, or the back more like. The back looks just like this. And these again are not too short, but they're not too long either. They're like the perfect length. And I just, I, I love these overall shorts. I've been looking for them for so long and I'm so happy I finally found them. Next up, I have this TNA, um, what is this called? It's one of those jackets and it's white and I got this in a size medium so I did size up one size just for comfort's sake so it's not skin tight and I noticed that I already got it dirty because I've been wearing it. I thought this was perfect for like the airport if I wanted to keep warm but wanted something thin to keep me warm and it's not too heavy to pack on the luggage with me this would be really nice so this is from TNA I forget the name of it but I will post it down in the description bar down below so forgive me I already took the tag off of this another one that I got is this one this one is actually from Lululemon and it's their typical what is this jacket called again I will leave all the names of these items down in the description bar down below but this one is again another one of those like jackets that are tight fitted form fitting um, and they zip up and it looks like like a runner's jacket pretty much you can see the details here um, this one again for the same reason I got it in a size 6 but I thought it would be really good for the airport and quite frankly I'm honestly am I gonna need both of them probably not I just love the way that they look on the body and I'm using it as a justification to buy it also. This one here is, I haven't even worn this one yet and it's it's so cute, I love it. I think that these are really good for to go with leggings and just to keep you warmer when you're at the airport and yet it's not too thick and chunky so that when you pack it away, it doesn't take up a lot of room in your luggage. Again, probably will not be bringing both of them. I'll have to decide which ones I take. I will be actually posting another video in the near future showing you what I pack for my vacation and what I'm actually going to be bringing with me, but right now I'm just showing you guys what I've kind of collected so far. This next item I think I will be featuring in another video because I bought it from Maritzia and it is the cutest Wilfred top. This is called the Ethereal Linen Top. It is a cropped top with these poofy sleeves and I got it sized up one size. I would usually get a size small but because it is cropped I wanted it to fit longer and slightly looser just again for comfort's sake. I sized up to a medium and it works perfectly fine and definitely a looser fit but I'm okay with that. It's just more comfortable and I think it is so cute to pair with like even these linen shorts. Like look at how well oh these colors go so cute together. I just love that. So I think that this would be really good to throw over when I'm just out and about and wanting just to have, some, have something really comfortable that won't make you feel like you're suffocating in the heat. This other item here is from Dynamite. This is just a very simple linen tank, which is flowy at the bottom, perfect for all the food I'm going to be eating in Asia. But this also has the tie details at the straps so you can adjust it and it's just very pretty and dangly and it's just a linen top it's not too long but it's also not cropped which I really like and once with again this with some blue jeans perfect your or blue, blue shorts more like not jeans but blue jean shorts this would look so cute and it'd be just so comfortable so I'm very excited about this. I'm definitely going to be bringing this top with me on my trip. So those are the clothing items I bought specifically for this trip. Um, again, might not be bringing all of them. Moving on, I have some shoes. Now I went a little bit shoe crazy and I actually have another pair of shoes from Steve Madden that I've ordered. They're sandals that kind of wrap around your ankles. Um, they're strappy. They haven't come in yet, so I will just put like 
a picture of them on the screen right now. They are black Steve Madden sandals that are very, very strappy and very minimal. So it would look really good with a variety of different outfits. So again, that one hasn't come in yet. The rest I have beside me here. So in this Nordstrom bag, I have, sorry, my Nala's just sleeping here with me. Um, a pair of heels. I don't know... Like for Malaysia, I don't think we're going to be going anywhere fancy. Honestly, we're going to go to the hawker stands. We're going to go to like the more casual places, I'm pretty sure. In Singapore, however, I do feel like we might end up going to some nicer restaurants. And so I thought it would be nice to have a pair of strappy heels, which I don't really have. I have like heeled pumps and things like that. But again, those get hot and they are quite chunky to be bringing every like on the luggage. So I found a pair of open edit heels. I got these from Nordstrom, as you see the bag back behind me. But these heels are so cute. Just, they're not too high of a heel either, and they are leather. I think this is leather over here. Either that is fake leather, I'm not sure. I got these because they are the cutest. They look so good with a dress and i thought that this would be easily dressed up you could even wear this with like jeans if you wanted to again these are from open edit they were really well priced too these were 74.95 so 75 canadian dollars plus a little bit of taxes they were under a hundred dollars for these heels and i think i could actually even wear these to a wedding that i have um this upcoming summer as well i love how strappy they are and they're actually very comfortable as well so all in all these are pretty reasonable heels to pack on a trip i think i'm definitely be bringing these with me because all the other pairs of shoes that i plan on bringing or that i'm going to be sharing with you or later on if they're very casual i don't want to be left with just casual shoes and no options in case we go somewhere nicer the next pair of shoes that i have these are again from costco these are the aquatherm i don't know aquatherm white sandals they are just foam sandals and they are so comfortable they're so smushy and they were like $12, $15. I think these would be great if you're walking around the poolside or whatever in the hotel room even. And you could definitely wear these with shorts and stuff and they still look really cute. I love the white and they are very comfortable. I got these in a size six and they were on sale for 15 bucks. Original price is $20. You really can't go wrong with these. They're very comfortable. The next pair of shoes that I got are Birkenstocks. I've been wanting a pair of Birkenstocks for the past year and a half, two years. I just never bit the bullet and bought them. So my pair, I have started to wear because I need to wear them in and get them worn down to mold it to my feet. But I got these. They are the Birkenstock, I think they're called, let me just check the name of them so I don't get it wrong. They are the Arizona Rivet logo and they are not leather, it's like a fabric. I really like the color. Again, this is the color eggshell, so it's not white, it's not like a brown, it's an in-between, it's an eggshell off-white color, which I really like. And it really goes with all the linen stuff that I'm buying lately, so I love these. Again, I have started to wear these because I need to break them in. They are not the most comfortable things, to be honest with you guys and I am hoping to God that I wear them in before my trip starts so then I can actually wear them if this doesn't work out I do have the Costco pair that I'll just bring and I won't care if they get destroyed because they were cheap to buy anyways the next pair of shoes okay this is the last pair of shoes it seems like I've gone a little bit insane and honestly this last pair of shoes I don't even know if I'm going to be wearing them to Singapore and Malaysia because they are very chunky so these are the air uh, nike air force ones i actually already own a pair from last year and i've worn them to death but i wanted another pair because mine were starting to look a little bit dirty and i feel like with air force ones they have to look clean i ordered these off of nordstrom and i feel everyone knows what they look like anyways i wear a size what size do i wear six and a half. Oh, i think these are the kids versions so i got like a size 13 or something because you can just order a larger kid size and it would be equivalent to the women's sizing. I don't know if they're gonna be too thick for me to wear everywhere. I'm not sure yet. The last little area of or section of things that I wanted to share with you guys are kind of like accessories or random things. Um, some makeup. So 
in here I have like just a bunch of stuff so I'll just kind of pull things out and whatever comes comes I started to buy these clips because I don't have any and these claw clips are everywhere I'm so late to the trend I am so behind but these claw clips I got two. this one's from H&M it was like six bucks and it's like a matte black very nice one it's nice and simple and I got this one from Oaken Fort which is so pretty I love this design on it this was like 12 bucks and I thought these would be really good for me just to clip my hair out of my face when it gets really hot over in Asia or in the summer in general so these I just picked up recently as well the next thing I picked up I have sunglasses um, from Ray-Ban and even a pair from Versace I think they're expensive sunglasses and I don't feel like losing them because I feel like every time I bring a pair of sunglasses to a trip I lose them in the ocean or I lose them somewhere so I found this pair they are from H&M they are like a cat eye shape and they look so cute I like that they fit my face they fit my nose because I don't have the tallest nose bridge and I find that some certain sunglasses especially if they don't have the adjustable nose piece they slide down on my face as I'm sure a lot of fellow Asians understand the problem and so I'm bringing these ones on my trip instead of my expensive ones uh, in case I lose it it's not gonna be like a big deal the next thing I have ordered the next couple of things I've ordered are jewelry pieces I have been loving gold jewelry pieces I ordered this pair of earrings so let me just show you these like they're Oh, they're not focusing these earrings here they're gold and they are slightly bigger hoops so that when I put them on they're a little bit more obvious and visible let me just try them on for you here I really like the way these look but they're still not so big that like I can't wear them out and about just casually like you can just see they're a little bit more visible I really like this and they're very comfortable I got this from a brand a local brand from where I live the brand is called Elise Marie jewelry let me just double check that I got this correct Elisa Marie sorry so this is her brand her jewelry is beautiful so these earrings were from her I actually purchased this from lilac festival which is this festival we have in Calgary when she had her booth there and they were beautiful and so I decided to order a couple more pieces from her website in here I ordered two more necklaces from her this here is a pendant it's one of her best sellers it's a gold pendant and it is I love do you guys see how dainty the necklace actually is the chain it is so pretty so on me it would look like this so there's that one and I ordered another necklace which honestly I thought that I would like this uh, pendant one a lot and I do but I love this other one even more so let me just show it to you it's in here so here this one is this beautiful do you see how that like all like opal looking stone in the center is like a star and then again the same very dainty chain the chain's actually slightly different this chain is actually daintier than the other one but i love this one so this necklace like it's it's so small and dainty and i just it's so pretty and then the last couple of things are a little bit more random let's do makeup first so i have completely revamped my whole makeup routine and my everyday makeup drawer is completely different than what it used to be so maybe I will do a video on that one day I, I'm trying to go with more natural clean makeup because I used to go powder I was a heavy powder girl you don't need powder to make your makeup look good in fact it looks better a lot of times with cream so I went and purchased some merit products I know it's gonna be so hot there I'm not gonna want to cake on all this powder and all this these layers of makeup because realistically I'm gonna be sweating so much it's going to come right off this is what my makeup looks like now and it is very glowy very fresh I purchased the Merit blush this is not what I'm wearing today I'm actually wearing the Patrick Ta do we know her blush the cream version on my cheeks right now and I love that one I think I'm gonna be bringing that with me on top of this one the reason why I bought this one is because it is a different shade this is in the shade Beverly Hill so it's a little bit more of a pink less peach this is more peachy coral this is more like a pink and this I like the formula in the sense that it's very very natural because the Patrick Ta is quite pigmented this one's very natural and even if it wipes off of your face halfway through the day because you're sweating you won't notice it as much so I really wanted something really natural so there's that one I also purchased the Merit complexion stick I have this on my face right now in combination with a little bit of the Kosas 
concealer. I am so mad right now because it is sold out in all of the lighter shades. The one I have right now is called Suede. It's still a little bit dark, but I can blend it in and make it work. But I wanted a lighter one. I'm definitely going to be bringing this on my trip with me because it wears beautifully throughout the day. It doesn't crease on me and it's just so, so pretty. I absolutely love this. I've been wearing this every single day. The next thing I bought was the Merit Their Brow Gel. This is in the color black brown, the volumizing pomade. I got it in black brown and I really like it for just adding a little bit of definition to my brows. It's just really natural looking. And finally, I've been using their Merit, the highlighting balm. I have mine in the shade Cava, so it's like the lightest, like almost white color. I have been using this every day on my face, on the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin, and then under and above my brow bone. I have been using this every single day as my natural highlighter. I'm in love. Like this is what my face looks like with this makeup. And it's just so natural. It's so comfortable. And I feel like my skin is liking it a lot more. It doesn't feel as dry, obviously, without the powder. I think I have two more things. I'm just going to start with the random one the first. And then the last one I'm actually quite excited about. So I have bought a whole pack of kinesiology tape. Why kinesiology tape, Irene, you may ask? Well, your girl doesn't want to wear a bra every single day in Asia when it is on average 25 to 35 degrees in like August. And so I have bought and stocked up on an extra whole pack of kinesiology tape. So this one is, they're all nude. It should be nude. God forbid it's blue. Yeah, it's nude. Okay, so this pack comes with three rolls of nude kinesiology tape. I have stocked up on these so that I can tape myself up as much as I need on my trip and not feel like I have to wear a bra every single day because that is extremely uncomfortable. Last item that I'm very, very excited about, and it also hurts my heart a little bit that I spent this money on it, but I've been wanting it for years. And honestly, is it for my trip? I'm just using it as an excuse to be honest with you. It is Byredo. I bought a full size because they didn't have the half size in this scent. It is in Gypsy Water. I think that this was like really famous years ago. I'm going to unbox it with you guys here now, actually. So I purchased this off from Saks and oh my gosh, I've never actually, I've obviously never owned a Byredo perfume before. I think what I'm going to do is actually I have a travel size, like a sample of Gypsy Water. My sales associate actually gave me a bunch of samples. So I'm going to bring for sure Gypsy Water, the sample size with me when I go on my trip. That way I'm not bringing a whole thing of cologne or perfume with me. But I'm just going to peel that off. And here it is, Gypsy Water. What does Gypsy Water smell like? I don't even know. Wow, this is some fancy packaging. It looks like it's taped shut. So let me just use my nails and cut through this sticker and on the other side too. Okay. So here's the box and Oh my God, that is so pretty. So here is the Byredo Gypsy Water that I got. I got the full size because like I said, they didn't have the half size. And quite frankly, this was actually the last one of Gypsy Water at my Saks store. And oh, it smells so good. What I might do is if the travel size sample is not enough, I might get like an atomizer and just put some of this in there so I can bring it with me. Very excited about this. So that is my splurge of this haul. You guys, I completely forgot about this one last item that I'm so excited about as well. And that is this Longchamp Le Pliage small tote in the black nylon with the regular leather trim. So this is an item that I have purchased specifically for this trip because I think it'll be great for me to carry around and to bring a little bit more stuff with me. If I plan on vlogging, <laughs> I might have space in here then to carry my vlogging camera and all of my necessities like sunglasses, wallet, ID, that sort of thing. Well, also like it's like weatherproof and it's very durable. So I hope you guys enjoyed my summer vacation haul video today. If you guys have any other suggestions for things that I might need to think about picking up, let me know down in the comment section bar below. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I would love to have you join our growing community. And as always, thank you guys so much for spending your time here with me today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.